What's going on everyone? Josh or Miho here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new album from the band Hooded Menace, entitled Effigies of Evil. This is released on Relapse Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they're based out of Finland, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very creepy, but yet very heavy blending of death metal and doom metal. I mean, if you were to think of Acid Witch, or Asphyx, Coffins, or current sounding Autopsy, you would have what Hooded Menace is trying to do. And um, this is a band that relies a lot on atmosphere and a lot of creepiness within their music and their lyrics. Very inspired by classic horror movies, and to an extent some... some early 70s metal like uh, Black Sabbath. Um, yeah, this is a band that was formed from two other bands that the current members of Hooded Menace were involved in, uh, Phlegathon and uh, Vacant Coffin. Of course, Vacant Coffin, they got that from an autopsy song. Obviously, they're an influence on this band. Um, they came out with uh, three albums. Um, their debut, uh, Fulfill the Curse, and their second album, which is the album that I got introduced to this band with, Never Cross the Dead. That album was just epic beyond words. Lyrically, musically, just everything was so heavy. The riffs, so heavy and so catchy. The vocals are just guttural and scary. The Just the overall vibes of that record are just unforgettable. And going into Effigies of Evil, I was wondering what they were going to do. Were they going to continue to build up on the sound that they've already had, or were they going to try something completely different? Um, it's eight tracks, and it runs around 51 minutes in length. So with this band, you should expect some pretty long songs. I mean, the opening track is around 10 and a half minutes long, uh, Vortex Macabre. But here's what I like about Hooded Menace. This is a band that takes lengthy songs and they make every single song on this record so interesting. So interesting. Every single song, no matter how long it is, grabs you by the throat and never lets you go. It holds your attention. It piques your interests. And this is probably one of the best, maybe if not the best, piece of death metal mixed with doom that I've heard this year. And I would be hard-pressed to find something that could possibly top it. You never know. 2012 still hasn't come to an end yet, but... Wow, what can I say? This record is just mind-blowing. Um, the guitar work on here is your usual kind of Hooded Menace guitar work. Absolutely heavy, thunderous, catchy, so many good solid riffs, so many riffs that get stuck in your head and get and are just memorable. Like on the title track, you get that autopsy vibe with that song, but on some songs you also get that almost epic doom kind of feel, like you're listening to Candle Mass or Cathedral. You'll pick up the guitar influence from those bands with Hooded Menace, and it just sounds so good. It's heavy, but it's also graceful at the same time. Just the way that it's delivered. It just sounds amazing. Um, Bass-wise, it's a good, solid bass tone throughout. Just It fits just right for what this album is trying to do. It has a nice, clean tone. Very audible and clear. It plays just well on this record. Um, the drums... This is another highlight for me. I love what the... the what are done with the drums here. It really has that slow kind of methodical doom pace, but then there are moments when it starts to get a little bit faster. Not super fast, but just mid-tempo enough to where you can definitely have something to headbang to. And then once that's over with, it just careens back right into the slow methodical kind of drumming. And it just sounds amazing. I just love the the way the double bass sounds, just the way the snare is, 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 is mixed. It just has a good, solid quality to it. I absolutely love the way the drums are here. And the vocals, wow. 
this guy has got a guttural voice that that is will be instantly recognizable. He's pretty much getting right up there to having a voice that's instantly recognizable. If you hear that kind of voice, you know it's a Hooded Menace record. It's very bellowing. It's creepy. It's guttural. You can understand what he's saying, but still just the way he delivers those vocals, it just sounds absolutely spot on. He's weaving a, a crazy story to tell, and he wants to tell it to you, and he expects you, the listener, to just be in fear of the kind of stories he's telling. And I'm also liking the inclusion of horror film samples. It's pretty ingenious in a way, considering this is a band that relies on horror movies as its influence. You can definitely pick up that vibe instantly. I mean, like on the tracks In Dead We Dwell, uh, that song, the opening intro to that track, pretty much gives you an idea of what to expect. And those moments really do work. And honestly, this is a record I find very little to no complaints about. If I were to have any kind of complaint at all, I wish this album didn't end. It's a 51 minute long album, but I wish it was longer. I mean, once you get to the last track on here, it's as if you're about to leave to leave this frightening place in the mind, and then the smoke clears and you're back settled to reality. You don't know where you were or how you even got there, but somehow you want to go back. You want to go back into that fantasy and this album does a superb job of that. I don't know if I can say this is better than Never Cross the Dead, but this is something I could put on equal grounds with. I love this album just as much as I do Never Cross the Dead. It's a sensational album, and any fan of death metal or doom metal would will absolutely enjoy it. I know I sure as hell did. Um, there's not a bum song on here to me. If, if I had to pick any favorites, I would have to say Vortex Macabre, the title track, uh, Curses Scribed in Gore, um, Summon Into Your Fork Madness. Wow, great songs. I'm going to leave you some links in the description box to their band camp where you can stream this album and hear it for yourself. Be your own judge. Um, also to where you can buy it, there's a 2LP orange vinyl with a bonus 7-inch with a Witchfinder General cover and an additional cover. Um, that's the package that I purchased, and I should be getting it real soon. Uh, again, the album is Effigies of Evil by Hooded Menace. This is released on Relapse Records. Go buy this wherever you're able to, and I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. This is definitely top 10 worthy in my view, maybe even top 5, top 3. We'll see what happens. Uh, so support Hooded Menace. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks all for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel, and until the next time, Army Ho out.